Hey guys, so I have a little bit to talk about. Stay tuned. after child loss been like in all honesty it's 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 going it's a process this entire thing is has been the biggest process for me and my husband not a day goes by um you know that i don't think about my sweet kyler it's hard for people to understand because they themselves have never been through a child loss and so people tell you, you know, it's okay, everything's gonna be fine. Um, and in your mind, you're just kind of like, is it really gonna be okay? Like, you know, this feeling that I have is forever. And I don't mean like hopeless grief. I think if you if you are feeling like you are in some sort of hopeless grief, then I think I think that's when it it becomes dangerous. And I think that that is when you really have to seek therapy for things like that um but i i am absolutely not in hopeless grief i'm just in a i'm at a point where i realize i wish that he was here and i don't think that there's anything wrong with that i think that everybody you know you have a right to feel that way um they were yours you had relationship with them and this is just in general talking to people who have lost period um, you have every right to feel that way. You have every right to miss them and wish that they were near you and with you. Um, I think about what he would have been like. Um, my love for beaches has grown tremendously, mainly because I, um, I thought, I w I, when I was pregnant with Kyler, I was able to go to the beach, my husband and I, and um, out of all my pregnancies, I had wanted to go to the beach. And then all of a sudden, this pregnancy, I was able to go to the beach. I was able to take pictures and he was so happy. He was moving and I could swear, he liked the water. I, I promise, I believe that he really would have been a water baby. He would have loved the water, even if I can't swim. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think about that so my husband and I have made it a thing where we go to the beach and we just think about if maybe Kyler would love the beach. I don't know why I'm crying. I don't know why I'm crying. It's a journey and I think that we should all take it, we should definitely take it easy on ourselves. And I've always been one to really kind of really hard on myself no matter what and everything I'm really hard on myself another thing I think I, I think we should do as people who have lost is talk about it I created a club on clubhouse um, it's called life after child loss and um, I just I try to get on there and you know speak to women who have lost and it has been extremely helpful because I love I like connecting with women who who are like me, you know, who share similar uh, situations. Um, because at the end of the day, we all need each other. And we have to be able to talk about it freely rather than holding it inside because of society. I'm sorry, forgive Caleb, because he's really loud. Anyway, I just felt like coming on here and talking. I'm gonna actually do more of these videos because they're a bit easier for me and it's not too much editing that I have to do. So I'm just being real, being raw, and being raven. I will disable the comments mainly because um, I used to have these misogynists would come by my page based off of my past and tell me, you know, I deserve to have my baby die. And I don't allow comments because of that reason. So uh, if you do decide to reach out to me, hit me up on Instagram. That's all I can say. But there will be no comments um, underneath these videos. I'll talk to you guys soon. You'll hear from me soon.